Stacy's Particle Accelerator Petra 3 is one of the brightest sources for X-rays in the world. It offers scientists from across the globe excellent research possibilities, from medical research to nanotechnology. Bunches of electrons fly at near light speed through the 2.3 kilometer ring. Special magnets called undulators set them onto a zigzagging path. Through this motion, the electrons emit high intensity and strongly focused X-rays. The X-rays are a million times brighter than those from common sources, and each flash is up to 5,000 times thinner than a human hair. That makes them ideal tools for investigating atomic structures. More than 20 beam lines direct the X-rays to around 50 experiment stations. The experiment stations at Petra 3 are set up for different experimental methods and scientific research questions, such as researching the interior of the Earth or of other planets, or investigating tiny and complex samples. The Beamline P11 is specialized for investigations of biomolecules. It can resolve three-dimensional structures of proteins with atomic precision. From this basis, advancements such as new medications can be developed. For these investigations, the proteins are processed into tiny crystals, which are then exposed to the intensely focused X-rays. This method is called protein crystallography. A robot takes the crystallized sample from a container cooled with liquid nitrogen and places it into a sample holder. By way of an automated sample changer, every measurement only lasts a few minutes. Ultra-cooled nitrogen gas is used to ensure that the fragile sample is not destroyed immediately by the intense X-rays during the measurement. The crystal is turned and illuminated from all sides with the X-rays. The crystal comprises a repeating structure of many individual molecules of the target protein. These building blocks of the crystal could also be a mixture of the protein and a possible drug candidate. The X-rays are bent by the repeating structure within the crystal, forming a characteristic pattern of light that is captured by a detector. From the location and the brightness of the different parts of the pattern, the three-dimensional structure of the protein can be calculated. This structure can help with the development of new medications that can accurately latch onto disease-causing regions of the protein. Several different proteins play key roles in the reproduction of viruses in human cells. They are valuable target regions for medications. In order to reproduce, the virus breaks into the cell and releases its genetic material inside. This forces the cell to produce new viral proteins. These proteins often hang on to each other in long chains. The protein chain must be cut into its individual parts so that new viruses can be constructed. In coronaviruses, the molecular scissors that cut this chain is itself a protein, the main protease. After it cuts itself out of the protein chain, the main protease snips the remaining chain into various functional parts that then copy the virus's genetic material and build new viral particles. If the cutting function of the main protease can be blocked, the reproduction of the virus will be stopped. This means an active substance candidate has to be found that can attach itself to the right part of the main protease. Through protein crystallography, many different combinations of proteins and active substances can be investigated. From this, scientists can determine whether and how well a possible candidate substance can hinder the reproduction of the virus. This can be the basis of a medication against the virus. At the P11 measurement station at Petra 3, not only can scientists search for potential substances that work against viral illnesses, but they can also investigate other very different proteins, such as those that perform important tasks in our bodies, or plant proteins that are involved in photosynthesis.